Hey everybody, Ryan F. MTG here, and today we are talking about all the black cards from the new set Haunted by Memories. Now, this is the last color of the set, so unfortunately this is the last card review video, but here we are. So, there are some very interesting black cards that either are like, oh, this could fit in, you know, Wesker DD, or Urboros even, or kind of a more, maybe, memory-centric lots of pump spells beat down aggro deck which we've kind of seen or even spike launch so black has a lot of new toys so let's just jump right into it the black legendary is civilization rebel sigma it's 4 mp for a 2-4 with infinite revenge so that means it just keeps on coming back and back and back and the revenge of course it goes down to 2 mp it gets plus 2 plus 4 when played, if Revenge has triggered eight or more times, gains plus three, plus three, and Heavy Pierce. This is so much value in one card that it's kind of nonsense. And in a Revenge-centric deck, I'm looking at you, Wesker, what, Breener of Nightmares? Maybe that's where this hero art's going to shine, because we are getting more and more revenge units that are good, and maybe this just pushes it over the edge. Maybe not, maybe this is just a good value creature for most black decks, but either way, I definitely see Sigma seeing quite a lot of play, because it's just, it's so good, right? The stats are good, the revenge is good, and then when you have done it eight or more times, it's just extra gravy, right? You don't, if you never get there, that's fine. This is still such a great card. So I'm definitely going to be playing this in quite a lot of black decks. Nilo is a very interesting one. It's five MP for one eight. And it says when on the field gains plus four attack if there are no other friendly units. So this becomes a five eight for five MP, which is kind of a lot, right? Like that's kind of it, a lot of stats just for five MP. However, if you play another unit, this is just a one eight and that is very underwhelming for five MP. But overall, I could see this being like a good play of like, you know, your first unit that you play to get in some damage or maybe mid game when like you guys, you and your opponent have been trading off and that you have nothing on their board. They play a big creature, you play Nilo and then you just kind of wait around to net some MP until they have to kill this unit. So I think this is a good card. I'm not really sure what the home will be. Maybe it's just a pump centric, you know, aggro pump centric aggro deck but those tend to want to swarm the board a little bit more than nilo really will offer but i think this has potential but i'm kind of finding it hard to see where it fits right now jack is 7 mp for a 2 8 with memory 4 destroys an enemy unit in front with an np cost of 5 or less which is pretty darn powerful then memory 7 it says gains plus 3 plus 2 Overall, this is a lot of value for one card, but it is 7 MP, and that is kind of a lot, where we have Ashford and stuff like that from the other set that are lower cost for pretty similar effects. Yes, the pump is great, but this is where I want to of note of the memory for black. Some black decks don't play a lot of removal, or sorry, don't play a lot of action outside of just some removal spells. Some decks play a lot more like, you know, if you're kind of like a green black spike launch deck that are pumping your units or like a kuma you know purple black or even mono black you know pumping your units a lot or even Uroboros actually tends to play quite a lot of uh, actions because of false throne and rebirth and stuff so I feel like black kind of goes across the board where like some of the memory stuff is like, yeah, okay, you're never really triggering that in just like when you're only playing some removal spells, but some is like, oh, you can definitely trigger quite a lot. So it's kind of cool to see the different homes that black can have. Right now, I think Jack is fine. Like if you could get the memory seven and have this be a 510 that is destroying an MP cost unit of five or less for seven MP, that is awesome. But base level, I think this is a little underwhelming. So I'm kind of on the fence with Jack, kind of leaning towards I don't think I will be playing him all that often. As Tolos, I could be butchering some of these monsters' names, so maybe I'll just call them Monster. But it's 3 MP for 1-5. Okay, tell me more. It has Flight. Okay, that's pretty cool. Also, it says 1 played, sacrifice 3 life. Okay, that kind of stinks. However, Resonate plus 1 attack. This card and a couple other black cards have me super excited because... Just a complete aggro, maybe mono black, or maybe like with zero or, you know, splashing purple or even green or something. 
resonate style very low to the ground with some resonate units and just a lot of pump spells and that's where this monster will fit in and shine because 3 mp for 1 5 with flight is pretty darn good that gets resonate plus one attack so if you do a pump spell of plus two attack well this gets plus three attack just with one pump spell so i'm really excited that like yes of course we've seen pump centric black decks before but i feel like that's getting new toys and maybe even just makes it changes it quite a bit and i'm excited for that gate is three mp for a two five it has growth three level two gains death gain one mp okay so a little ramp that's kind of nice level three it says gains plus four plus four that's a lot of stats however it destroys after one attack but you do get the one mp once it dies so i kind of like this little synergy that it has going on overall i don't think that this is a bad card but black has a lot of good units and I don't think Gate is particularly better than other black units. Hilda is 4 MP for 1-7. Death sends two cards from your deck to your graveyard, then place one random unit in your graveyard with MP cost three or less onto the field. So kind of like a mini resurrection just for MP cost three or less. Overall, I think Hilda is cool, but a 1-7 body for 4 MP, like that's a lot of HP. So it's kind of unfortunate because this will take a little bit to get killed and it might not be trading up because it just has one attack. So overall with those stats, I think I like the effect, right? I think the effect of the mini resurrection is very cool, but with those stats, I'm kind of off Hilda. Decapri, five MP for four, six. One plate, send a random unit card in your hand to the graveyard. Next. But in all seriousness, seriousness, I do, don't really like this card because yes, you could be like, oh, well, this is good for Ouroboros or something like that. This is five MP, right? A lot of your Ouroboros, you know, big units are six MP. Yes, sometimes eight, M you know, eight MP with the devil, but like five MP is a lot. I would rather just wait, net a little MP and then play my tyrants or my devils or just use like a false throne or something like that to get them in the graveyard. And sure, maybe this goes into some other deck that wants to get a unit in the graveyard because five MP for a four, six, like that is a pretty healthy body. But overall, I'm pretty off this card. Velgarder is three MP for a two, six, memory four, gains plus one, plus three. This kind of fits into my more action-based black deck. Maybe, you know, the green, black, Nur Gigante spike launch, something like that, or just a new one. Because if you could get that memory four, this is three MP for a three seven, and that is a pretty darn good rate. And base level, you know, if this is your first card that you play, you know, three MP for a two four is definitely nothing good because you'd rather have this be a Cerberus or something. But I think this card has potential. Pyron is 3 MP for a 2-3. One played, if your hero's life is 15 or lower, gains plus 2, plus 2, which is awesome because that's a 4-5 for 3 MP, and this is kind of, you know, fits into the Nergigante spike launch deck, right? And 15 life is not that hard for them to get to because you're in self-inflicting so much damage, you might take some ch chip damage from the opponent, where then this is a good play to kind of stop that bleeding and just this big house. And yes, there's only so many cards that you can really play that are a payoff for having low life. And right now the spike launch is playing like Melfis and Burned Inorex and stuff, but I could see Pyron, you know, it's really nice that this is three MP compared to like five MP of Melfis, even though that card, it has a lot of other stuff going for it. But I, I like Pyron overall. Mendez is 3 MP for a 3-3. Three, three. Those are fine stats across the board. Tell me more. Death Explorer for a Cruelty. Cruelty's fine. I've never been particularly impressed with that. I usually rather just be playing other pump spells. And yes, I get that this is Explorer, so it doesn't really count as one of your 30 cards that Mendez is kind of like a two for one. Where this is a fine card, I just don't really see myself playing Mendez. The last black unit is Gil. He's back. 5 MP for 1-9, that is a lot of health, very low attack. However, Resonate, it gets plus two, minus one. I think this is a very cool card because it kind of starts to like switch it, right? It busts the attack, but then hurts itself. And I think that's very cool. However, you don't want to go wild with the Resonate triggers because you can start killing Gil yourself and that is not good, right? So overall, I think this is a very cool card, but one that will be 
maybe not necessarily hard to play, but you have to be very conscious of when he is on the board so you're not just killing your own unit. But, you know, some, throw some pump spells or like a shield on this, like play it with green and shield it up or give it HP. That seems kind of nutty. So I think, I think this could get some good brews running around with it. Now time for the actions and there are some pretty cool actions. So Valor is one of the two legendaries. It's two MP. Sacrifice three life, gives a friendly unit plus three attack. Plus three attack for two MP is pretty darn good. Yes, you have to sacrifice some life, but like Spike Launch wants to do that anyway, so that's pretty okay. If you have memory seven, additionally gives that unit flight and agility. That's awesome. Yes, it is memory seven, so that is pretty hard to get to, but if you are a pump centric deck, that is a super good payoff because flight and agility plus three attack is awesome so base level i like this card a lot and if you can get to that memory it just gets even better so i really like this if you want a pump spell this is definitely a pump spell for you rebel's memory is the last black legendary it's six mp it says destroy a random enemy unit so this is kind of like obliteration or something like that that six mp destroy anything However, it's a random unit and that feels very bad, right? Because if they have three units beating you down, but really one is the most important, this might get one of the other two. However, it has memory seven, destroy all units instead. Of note, this is your units and your opponent's units. It's everything, it's a board wipe, but for six MP, a board wipe is really good because you are the player with the board wipe. So you can, you know, stock them into opening up themselves for a three for one and that feels great memory seven though is pretty high but overall i'll definitely be playing with memories especially that it's a legendary it's a one of i think this is a pr this is a good card right the random rng elements will definitely have some feels bads but man when you get that right hit or just you know they have one abuki and you kill it that, that's awesome, right? 6 MP, that's an obliteration. But when you get that memory 7 and just that board wipe, I think that makes this such a good card. Bloodbath Frenzy has a, a short story of what it does. It's 3 MP, it's sacrifice to life, give a friendly unit, plus one, plus two. Right there, I'm kind of into this because sacrificing a couple life isn't that bad. And plus one, plus two is actually really nice because a lot of times your units don't have that much health. Yes, plus one attack is not that much, but it's kind of nice that you're getting some health. And yes, it is three MP. I like my pump spells to be two MP, but tell us more, Frenzy. It's memory two, so that's pretty easy to get. Gives that unit additional plus one, plus one, and spillover. Okay, tell me more. Memory four, additionally, that unit performs an instant attack. I'm in. I really like this card. And yet again, if you are a black deck that wants uh, pump spells, this is a great pump spell. Maybe it is a little expensive and that's the only like downside. Cause if this was like two MP, it'd be, you know, broken. But j also if you think about that, that whole text, if you're getting the four memory of the instant attack for three MP, this is so much value after value that I am super into frenzy. Obsessive Duel is 2 MP, place a random unit in the enemy's graveyard on the field. Wait, 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 why am I resurrecting my enemy's stuff? I don't like that. Then place a random unit from your graveyard on the field in front of it. I like this card a lot. I think this is very cool. It's like, hey, you get a unit and I get a unit. And I love Ouroboros, and this is definitely something that I'll be testing out in Ouroboros, because guess what? Usually my Devils or Tyrants, whatever I'm bringing back, is probably going to be better than what you're bringing back. And this is kind of like a mini living death, right? So overall, I think Obsessive Duel is a very interesting card that I think is pretty darn good. Maybe I'll play with it, maybe it feels worse than I'm giving it credit for, but right now I'm excited to put this into an Ouroboros deck. Uncontrollable Outbreak is 5 MP, destroy an enemy unit with an MP cost of 4 or less, then place an infected in a random open board slot you control. Kind of nice, you get to kill something and then you get a zombie also, so you kind of get two effects for one card, I like that. However, this is 5 MP and you only can get, kill something with 4 MP or less. I think I would rather just spend one more MP for obliteration and something and just hard kill anything. So I think Outbreak is good and I like that you get a zombie, 
But overall, I don't particularly like that. However, if Breeder of Nightmares Wesker is a theme and you really are just desperate for more zombies, then maybe you play Outbreak. But besides of that, I don't really see myself playing this card. Reckless Brawl is 5 MP, it has awesome art, and it places a random unit from your graveyard in front of an enemy unit. Memory 4 additionally give that unit plus 1 plus 1. So that's a pretty cool effect, and right off the bat, it's like, huh, I wonder if this will go into Ereburus, you know, where everything you're bringing back is so powerful. However, this is 5 MP, and I don't know if you really want to be playing this for 5 MP. I think this is a pretty steep cost, where we always have, we already have Rebirth, as well as the new card of Obsessive Duel. So I think spending 5 MP for this is a little bit too much. Yes, you do get a plus one, plus one. So if you are very desperate, or maybe not even very desperate, but if you want more resurrection type things, then this is definitely the home for it. I will definitely test this out in Ouroboros, but I don't have super high hopes for it. A strange parent, 2 MP, this, this art is kind of gross, but like it is definitely just Resident Evil horror and it is cool. It destroys an enemy unit with one attack or less. If you have memory four, it destroys an enemy unit with two attack or less. I'm kind of off this card because this is like murder spikes. Yes, you don't have to sacrifice life, but a lot of times, one, sometimes you want to sacrifice that life in like spike launch, or two, that life loss isn't that much where you really need to have memory four to make this into a spike launch. Because if you don't have memory four, it's worse, right? So overall, I, I'm pretty down on this card. Inhuman Power, 4 MP, Sacrifice 3 Life, gives a friendly unit plus 3 plus 4. That is a lot of stats just off of one card. However, you do have to sacrifice 3 life, which you can't play, you know, I know I talked about how Murder Spikes is fine, but you can't play tons of cards that are sacrificing life. And also, this is 4 MP. Yes, this is such a good pump spell just for one card, but it is more MP that makes it kind of feel a little awkward because if you are trying to do like memory count or even resonate, you definitely would have lower cost stuff with less of effect than just one inhuman power. However, if you are just playing like you don't really care about the how many memory counts you have, this could be a good one or two of because plus three plus four is no joke. Warped Research is 4 MP, place a random unit in your graveyard with an MP cost of 3 or less onto the field. If you have memory of 4, it additionally place another random unit in your graveyard with an MP cost of 3 or less onto the field. That's kind of cool, because if you do have memory 4, you are getting two bodies for just one card. However, those two bodies are MP cost of 3, basically. And I don't see this really finding a home because it's like, okay, well, sure, you could get like Cerberuses or zombies or something back. So if you are this really revenge-centric stuff, however, in that case, your revenge units have to already die twice. Or if you are a low to the ground aggressive, just playing a lot of 3 MP and 4 MP units and pumping them up, this could be nice. But also, maybe you just want to be playing a pump spells over this, or a cheaper resurrection spell. So I'm kind of off this card. Demonic Alter Ego is 1 MP, so super cheap. Gives a friendly unit death, adds 1 unit in your deck with revenge active to the EX pocket. This is pretty darn cheap, especially just for 1 MP. That's like basically the cheapest you can get. And if you have tons of revenge stuff, I could see this finding a home. Outside of that, definitely not. But Demonic Alter Ego could put in some heavy work for very low cost. Destruction's Demand is 2 MP, give a friendly unit plus 2 attack. Unit is destroyed after a single attack. Memory 7, which is kind of a lot, give that unit additional plus 4 plus 4. So that is a ton of buffs, right, if you have Memory 7. However, it's just destroyed after a single attack. So the health doesn't really matter as much, besides if your opponent has to, like, double two for one themselves or something like that. So overall, like, this is a pretty cheap card with a pretty good effect, but I never particularly love the cards that says like, yo, oh, give something plus attack and, you know, but destroy it after one attack. And especially then, like, the memory seven is so high that you're not hitting that that much. And all it does is just add some more attack, which is nice, right? If, if that, like, finishes the game. But that HP to me is, like, meaningless. So overall, like, I don't see playing this card. 
Conspirator Speech is one MP, so super cheap, gives a unit death, sacrifice to life. If you have memory two, which is super simple to get, gives that unit death, sacrifice for life instead. So this is an interesting card. So it's basically black burn to the face, right? Because you target your opponent's unit, obviously. Well, I guess if you're really desperate to sacrifice life due to um, uh, spike launch, you, you could do your own, but probably this is just burn to the face. You sacrifice, or you target your opponent's unit. Sure, they could kill it in response, but do they really want to kill, in, kill their unit in response just to save themselves two or four life? Probably not. But at the end of the day, how much is that really dealing damage to them? Of like, is that damage significant, or would you rather just be playing another unit? What is interesting is what if there's going to be like a black red burn deck with Ryu? However, with that case, you can't be playing anything more than five, and there are some definitely six MP units. I'm looking at you, Leon, that you want to be playing in that type of deck. So I think speech has me excited for a hybrid burn deck, but I think overall it's probably not worth the MP restriction to play this. But I don't know, four life for one MP is a lot. So I'm I'm excited and I can't wait to brew with this card. Cross Blades is two MP, destroy a friendly unit, then destroy a random enemy unit with an MP cost of four or less. I don't particularly like this card because you have to destroy one of your units and then you can only kill one of their units that are four or less and it is RNG random. Yes, this is super cheap, and if you are playing a lot of revenge units that you just kind of want to throw away anyways, you can get some good value, but overall, I don't really particularly like this card. Now, the last black card is Assassination List. It's 2 MP, destroy an enemy unit with an MP cost of 3 or less. We've definitely seen this type of card before. Usually, you have to sacrifice a little bit of life, but overall, I think this is a fine card, but I don't see playing it because MP cost three or less literally just means MP cost three, basically. And that's usually a little bit too narrow for your removal. And there's just other better removal like murder spikes or other things out there that are maybe a, either the same cost or a little bit more expensive that I would rather play over list. So those are all the black cards. Black got some really cool toys that I think might help some of the old black hero powers like Breener of Nightmares, stuff like that, or just kind of make its own thing of, you know, more black aggressive decks that maybe are like what we've seen before, but maybe just even more aggressive or just a little bit different. Also like Ouroboros or even Dark Destruction, stuff like that got new tools. Overall, black has me really excited. But that is it for all the cards of Haunted by Memories. And like I said with Black, overall, I'm really excited about Black. Overall, I'm really excited by these cards. Like, yes, Memory might not be as interesting of a mechanic as, let's say, Growth or Explore or something like that because it's just basically a mechanic that's paying you off for doing what you usually already do in a game of playing our actions. So that's not super interesting. But I am happy that it does seem like they actually went deep with it and had like, you know, is this base level worth it to play if you can't get the memory? And then how good is the memory? So I think they did a good job with maybe not the most flashy mechanic, making it interesting. And overall, there's some really powerful cards in here or sometimes not even powerful cards, but just interesting cards that I'm really excited to brew with. So let me know in the comments what you guys have been doing good with and maybe deck ideas that you want to see from me because now on we're or not now on but you know starting now we're going to be doing a lot of deck techs and playing around at with all these new cards but thank you for watching these videos and i'll see you all next time